everyone, this is Gal with Crafty Toy Collectors, and today I'm bringing you a Monster High view. view. Wow. A Monster High review. So, today, obviously, as you can tell by the title and what I'm showing you right now, I have the Zombie Dance Dolls. Yeah! Okay, so, little story about them. I have been waiting for these since New York Comic Con. And I literally have had this as my profile picture on Kick, Instagram, and Kick. Two different Kicks forever. I think that she is still my um, profile picture on Kick, but someone made me a profile picture on Instagram. Anyways, it's Venus. Venus is my favorite. Well, second favorite. Or first favorite. I don't know. I kind of have a hard time choosing between her and Laguna. So, anyways, I'm going to put these two up here. And we're going to look at the packaging and the accessories. I love this shelf. I can put, like, scissors and, and dolls and stuff. I took Jane out and one of you, cough, cough, toy hunter. Oh. Um, asked me who Jane was, and this is Jane. So yeah, we kind of gave her a name. Sorry for the bad lighting. Not the best lighting where I'm filming, but I do you think that I'm going to film here for a while because it's a good location? Okay. So. The packaging shows a zombie dance in the background. Deuce. Um, and in the back there, it's a unicorn. And it has actual legs. And a tail. So yeah, I wonder if they're going to make that into a doll, because I want it. And they have a triclops. And purple disco ball, and it's very purple. And if you guys know, there's an MH prom going on, so there's probably going to be dolls in a webisode. So, anyways, their art is gorgeous. I, I just love it. And then, there's their names. And the zombie shake symbol. Okay. Now, oh, on the top. Then the side, then the back. It says, the biggest... It's the biggest dance of the year at Monster High, and every ghoul and manster, oh, new slang, manster, <laughs> at Monster High can't wait to show up, show up their finest zombie shriek fa fashion for their creeperifically cool cha chance to show off their most uh, amazing moves. Um, it's very surely... It will surely be a party rocking in the house to fright. And every monster is going to have a ghoul time. I had such a hard time reading that. Anyways, it shows their art again. Okay, now let's get on with the dolls. Wait, no, the accessories. Ugh, so many things to look over before we do the dolls. Okay, so they do come with two doll stands, and they are black, but they are currently using them. There's their diary, and it has, like, marks on it. And it says, this diary belongs to Rochelle Goyle and Venus Flytrap, Mick Flytrap, and it doesn't have anything at the bottom, like, if you read this, blah, blah, blah. Then it has a note inside that says, Editor's Note, this, this written conversation was discovered while an unbreak 
of a strange zombie-like behavior amongst the non-zombie student population at Monster High. And there's no, like, bio in the back, but there are, like, goo marks, so. Oh. And then, of course, it came with a black brush. Okay, now for the best part. Um... Oh, I'm sorry, Rochelle. So, if you haven't read the books, Rochelle and Venus are besties along with Rebecca. They are roommates also. So, let's go over Rochelle first. We'll leave the best for last. Which pains me because I want to look at Venus very closely. Like, right now. <laughs> okay. Now let's see if we can get some light. Ugh. There. Okay, so Rochelle has curly light pink hair, so it's not like Pinkie Pie hair. Um, and it has blue up in the back, and it's, like, flat. It's very gelled. I don't like it when they gel the hair. Um. And it's very cute. If I had hair like that, I don't, I don't even want to think about it. Um, that gives you a hint of what I look like. So her bangs are just kind of curled, and she does have a headband. And then the cuteness continues over to her, to the other side of her headband, because there's a blue brain and tassel, and she has blue makeup. Sorry about that. Wow, it's almost already eight minutes. Okay, so there's her bell, and her dress is black and pink, and it's super pretty, and she has two, like, bangle-ish um, bracelets, and a purse, and her dress is pink and black and very sparkly, and there's little skullette details on there. Then she has cracks all over her body, and she obviously has her wings. And her shoes are simple. I mean, not simple com compared to my shoes, but simple compared to Monster High shoes in general. Um, anyways, let's look at Venus. Yay! And, of course, I've been super excited about these ghouls since basically October. So she has a hairpiece. Oh, dropped her purse. Um, she has vine hair, uh, vine hairpiece up in her ponytail, and they added black to her hair, and a little bit more even evenness. Except there's more green in the back. Her shaved piece has brain on it, and there's a bug. Ugh. And her. Earring covers her whole ear. I hate bugs. So she has vine detailing all over her face. And her makeup is big and green. And her lips are dark green. So like her original one, it, there's vines as a necklace, but these aren't the same vines. Now, her dress is kind of promish. So is Rochelle's. It has green slashes, I guess you could say. And tulle, which is a type of fabric, if you don't know. I hate bugs. Um, 
Yeah, and it's pink and sparkly. And then there's the vines on her leg. And they kind of rope around her shoes, which is adorable. See, and then there's her shoes in the back. Sorry, it's not focusing very well. I really need a new video camera. Okay, and as I said, they do come with stands for, so yay for stands. And there's her purse. Did I forget to show you Rochelle's purse? I think I did. Just let me show you quickly. It's the same design front and back, but one side's just painted blue. So yeah, guys, there won't be a lot of videos for a while because even though it is summer, I am going to Arizona for 10 days. Which is awesome because I get to visit my doll loving grandma who is awesome. So yeah. First before I go, I would like to give a shout out to my friend the toy pet the toy collector. The toy hunter, you should go check out her channel. It is awesome. She is actually Quiet Crush Girls. Um, just saying. So yeah, that's all, so see you guys later, and bye!